Hi there, it's Sasi Sloth here, and this is a short video about using sRGB gamma corrected images in Lightwave as textures or, or in other ways. And, and I'm just going to kind of uh, show you uh, the basic idea. So you have like, uh, let's say that you have a model like such as this, this room, what I made, and, and then you have some textures. Uh, basically, textures could, could be from the photos or from the, of the internet. And, and you import them to the light wave and and you get kind of a uh, kind of washed out like as we can see the floor here is is not uh, very saturated and and it looks like a, somehow it looks like it's missing the the punch or it's kind of just like washed out so um the thing is that basically what light wave the new versions of light wave is that that it's a linear workflow so basically uh, what you input to here, you need to, to tell the light wave how to deal with that. And when you import the images, as you can see, we have the image editor here. So you can press F F6 and go to the image editor. And and here we can see that I have a bunch of uh, images that I've imported here. And and some of them are looking like this so in the frames and in the walls and in the floor. So what I've done here, I'm just gonna import it and I'm going to go to color space RGB and I'm telling the sRGB because I know that these are gamma corrected to the monitors and and the, most of the images in the internet are are gamma corrected images they are not linear linear images except maybe here HDR and those things but that's um, that's another story so basically you import the, the photo here you need to tell Lightwave that okay this is image which has already gamma correction in it so please uh, consider this image as a sRGB image and and this is the way how uh, it's done and when you do this you're basically done you have told Lightwave okay please convert this image into linear works, workspace and then consider this image which has a, it has a gamma so please degamma it and then Lightwave is going to degamma it and when we do this and we make sure that okay this is the our floor i'm just going to create a quick render and we can see how this is going to affect our render so we have now told like yes it's sRGB other settings can be left as they are and we can see we get the much more saturated much more uh, a rich uh, a rich uh, looking uh, texture here so so this is a very quick way to to kind of sort of uh, control the, the way how Lightwave deals with color spaces in imported images. There's going to be more things to than than this, of course, and and well, uh, Substance Designer. If you deal with Substance Designer, um, there are many ways to do that. But the way how I usually do, do that is that when I um, when I'm exporting the diffuse images of the albedo images, I'm usually usually using the sRGB the camera correction for those because I found that to be a little bit more easier workflow. And then for the normal maps and for, for the other channels, um, I'm usually using a linear, such as the uh, roughness map. The roughness map is, I've noticed that it's better to be left uh, in a linear way because of um, well, various reasons. Uh, but in those engines, if you import images to say Unreal Engine, you also should be should pay attention to, to basically do the same thing to to tell the engine that okay this is an image which has a gamma applied to it and this is the other images that they are okay those are linear images so so this is just a quick tutorial on how to do that in Lightwave. Uh, thank you for watching until the end and I'll see you soon.